Well, here we are up in the college field. It's uh, Thursday, the 13th of September, and uh, really, really chuffed with what we're getting up to here. We've got um, a cracking pollen and nectar mix here. Uh, it's in year one, and uh, we've got lots of red clover in here, some scabious, and uh, oh, there's some trefoils in here, all kinds of things. I think I've probably shown you this before, but this is our beetle bank then. A um, bit of oxide daisy just there. Timothy grasses on here. A uh, few little volunteer uh, brassicas. Bits of yarrow. A uh, bit of poppy there, look, that's just uh, self-seeded when we created the beetle bank. And then uh, on the other side of the bank, I just dropped down here, we've got a bird food mix. Um, this is great, it's a one we created ourselves. So we've got a bit of uh, spring barley, some spring oats. Um, this is the fodder, uh, fodder radish. And then down in here we've got a little bit of quinoa. And then if you look, there's a bit more fodder radish there. And if you look right down in the bottom, here we go, there's a good bit, a bit of kale in there. And that kale will provide cover on here, this little patch for next year, and bird food for winter 13. So, uh, yeah, really, really pleased with this. Looks great considering the year. And uh, we're just cultivating the field up adjacent to it. This is it was Invicta winter wheat. We're just working it now to try and get the wheat to chit up before we plant um, cassata winter barley in, which will be destined for uh, Molston Cores and the Burton-on-Trent Brewery for Harvest 13.